Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about the nefarious out of memory error that you see in your Java applications. And specifically, I wanted to show you how you can trigger it in your own code. I wanted to show you how to quickly how to fix it in your own code. I want to show you some possible causes of it. And for that matter, if it's not being caused programmatically, I want to show you how you can increase the amount of memory dedicated to your JVM. So hopefully you don't run into the out of memory error in Java. If you want to trigger an out of memory error in Java, it's pretty easy to do. Just create a collection class. I got a little array list here and then shove things in it inside of an infinite loop. I got an infinite while loop here that always runs. And I've got this array list here. And every time we go through this for lift, uh, just put 100,000 elements in it. It's all within a while loop, so it's just going to add up and add up and add up. And since nobody's taking these objects out of this list, well, I'm going to run out of memory soon. So I can right click on this program, say run as a Java application, run it. Oh, I don't care what garbage collector is used. Just run it and you'll see pretty quickly you get this out of memory error. Now, if you want to actually take a look a little bit more detail in that, I use some M beans here to check how much memory is being used. And I put a little block in here as soon as we get to 85%. I say, hey, you know, if we get to 85% utilization, um, you know what, maybe I'll clear the list um, and pull all those things out of there so they become av available for garbage collection and don't use up memory space. And so just a little change like that, clearing that list, clearing all the items out of that list, that will stop that error from happening. That's the whole idea. If you can actually allow your stuff to be cleaned up properly using the garbage collector and no longer referencing objects, well, your garbage collection and your out of memory errors will go away. So notice I got 87% usage right there in my application. If I keep clicking OK, it might go up a little bit. I'm at 86. Um, I've cleared the elements of the lit out of the list, though. You can see there were 7 million in there now. Now there's only about 10,000. And then all of a sudden, after taking it down to 10,000, garbage collection happens. That 86% usage goes down to 17%. And life is good. I don't have a problem anymore. Now, if you want to actually solve your problems with out of memory exceptions, well, you know, the first thing you want to do is you want to fix any memory leaks that you have in your application. So that's what I've done here. I had a, an object that was just allocating memory like crazy and I stopped that from happening. When it got too high, I cleared the list. No longer was I just constantly consuming memory. Now, I don't know if you call that a memory leak or just a, a memory problem, programming problem, but you get the idea. Find your memory leak and your memory problems will go away. Now, that's one way to solve that problem. However, there's another way to solve that problem. I'm going to run this program. Uh, or is that program already running? Yeah, it's still running. I'm going to connect to it with Java Mission Control. I love this program. You should get a, an edition of it yourself. It's open source. It's free. Um, and right here, you can actually see there's the Java heap memory that's being used. I'm going to click OK, and you can kind of see the, the memory goes down when garbage collection comes in. It goes really high. Then it goes down when garbage collection comes in. It goes high. It goes down when garbage collection comes in. And of course, if I wasn't doing garbage collection, well, eventually this would kind of go past the peak. I believe the peak is 512, so you can see I'm approaching that there. And once that needle goes past the maximum memory allocated to your JVM, well, that's when the error happens. But look at this. Down here, this shows me the memory. So you can see when I click the button and garbage collection happens, we see the amount of memory used can go down as low as 60, 70, maybe 100 megabytes there. Um, however, as soon as we start getting into the danger zone, we're getting up to 512. That's the maximum. But look at this. Use physical memory. There's the physical memory up there. My machine's got a massive amount of memory in it. I'm only allocating 512 to my JVM. So as soon as I hit close, get close to 512, I'm out of luck. And you know what? Sometimes it's not a memory leak. Sometimes it's not a programming error. Sometimes your program just needs more memory. And so the way to allocate more memory to your JVM is by editing some of the VM arguments. Now, I've got a custom launcher in Eclipse here, which I like for running my programs. You may have a batch file on your file system that has your JVM arguments in it. But right here, you can see I'm saying that 
I'm going to start off with 256 megs of RAM and the maximum XMX, the maximum amount of RAM that this can use is 512. But if you're getting out of memory errors and you're convinced that it's not a Java memory leak, and there's patterns that you can explore with Java Flight Recorder and Java Mission Control that indicate whether a leak has actually happened. They're very well-known patterns, so check that out. Um, but yeah, why not uh, change that? Go, so go to 2048. Change the amount of memory that you're using. Actually, over here, I believe this is the launch that I use with the typical uh, garbage collector. The other one there was Epsilon, which actually is a non-garbage collector. But yeah, I'm going to boost that up to 2048, and I can come over here, stop the application from running, kill it over here, and relaunch it. Well, let me see. Terminate. I didn't terminate it. I got to terminate it. And now I will run it again. And then let's see how memory gets consumed. We want GC run as a little Java application. Let's go over to mission control, see if we can find it over here. It always takes a minute for mission control to figure out what JVMs are running on your environment, but it'll pop up there in a second. There it is, it has just appeared, and now I will start the JMX console. And you can see that now as this runs, well, as we get to, what were we getting upwards of? We were getting upwards of, let me find that, there it is there. Um, the list is cleared. But yeah, you can see now we're using 2048. We're using uh, what, two gigs of RAM there instead of 512 before. So sometimes your applications just need more memory and you actually need to put more physical memory in your computer or at least allocate more physical memory to the application. Now, even as I look at this, I'm gonna do some garbage collection here. So I have some nice graphs going. It takes a little longer to hit that point where Java collection clicks in when you've got more in your JVM. But notice down here, we can go pretty low in terms of minimum memory. We've got 256, but we're going up to 1.75 gigs at runtime until we hit that error. And even still, I got a lot of physical memory between the amount of memory I've dedicated to my JVM. But you know, if you need to fix one of those out of memory errors that you're hitting, well, First of all, fix those problems you have in your code. Fix your memory leaks, fix your bad programming, fix your infinite loops that are constantly allocating objects into those innocent little collection classes. Um, and then after, if that doesn't work and there's no leaks, well, then you just need more memory. And again, that is just editing that XMX attribute. Give your JVM a little bit more breathing room. And there you go, that's the nitty gritty on the out of memory error that you sometimes see in Java. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We got lots of great tutorials on Java, Jakarta EE, enterprise development in general, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on the YouTube.